In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sex in the City and Just Like That star Kristen Davis lives a posh lifestyle both in the series and in real life. However, while her character on the show is a New York City gal through and through, in reality, she lives in a mansion on the west coast instead of a Manhattan penthouse. Tell me something, are the actors from HBO's hit show Sex and the City more well known by their character names or their real names? I'm just curious. I think if we're being honest with ourselves, outside of maybe Sarah Jessica Parker, we have to admit that we know these gals best as Carrie, Samantha, Miranda, and Charlotte. But as spectacular as the characters' lifestyles were on the series, in reality, the actors' lives who portrayed them were even more glamorous. Take for instance Charlotte, I mean Kristen Davis. Sex in the City would become Kristen's first big break in the industry after a few years spent collecting bit parts in films like Nine Months and Sour Grapes. As well as a recurring role on Melrose Place. Kristen landed the Sex and the City gig in 1998, and while her salary fluctuated over the course of the series, it always kept trending in the right direction. And by that, I mean upward. In fact, by the fifth season, Kristen was earning herself around $350,000 per episode. At the offset of landing the role that would come to define her career, Kristen purchased herself a relatively modest home in the area of Brentwood, Los Angeles. Kristen would renovate the property over the two decades she lived there before finally listing it in 2019. Why sell such a gorgeous place? Well, because the year prior, she picked herself up a second home in the same neighborhood of Brentwood, one that nearly doubled the size of her first. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. In this one, we're checking out the homes of actress Kristen Davis. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Just before the turn of the new century, Kristen Davis would drop roughly $700,000 on a spectacular 4,000 square foot home in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Brentwood. Discreetly situated at the end of a little known cul-de-sac, this property contains two different residences that comprise a total of four bedrooms, as well as three full and two half bathrooms. Inside the main residence are polished hardwood floors, as well as wood trimmed picture windows that provide a lookout at those remarkable canyon and mountain views. This aesthetic is further complemented by beam ceilings that offer a modern rustic feel. Among the gigantic common areas, you'll find a living room with a wet bar that also provides a generous number of glass doors that open out onto rear balconies and decks for the added luxury of a little outdoor ambiance. There's also a dining area as well as a sleek and very modern kitchen that boasts a gigantic prep island as its centerpiece. Upstairs, the master suite is more or less the definition of California living with its luxurious built-in wooden bed frame attached to a charcoal colored wall that lends a modern touch to the space. The adjoining area beside the bedroom can easily be converted into a home gym or office space and is currently separated from the main room by floor to ceiling shoji screens. The master suite also comes complete with a modern bathroom and a decadent wood paneled walk in closet. Finishing off the main residence is an epic home theater system with stadium style plush velvet seating. Now, in terms of the separate guest house, it's largely composed of an open floor plan and features a living room with its own dining area as well as an old-fashioned wood-burning stove tucked into a corner. It also boasts an up-to-date high-end kitchen for Kristen's guests to take full advantage of. After living in this home for 20 years and investing a whole lot of money into renovating the place, Kristen would finally list her home in 2019 for a reported $3 million. It would take her some time to find a buyer, but a year later she finally did, accepting an offer of $2.45 million for her longtime home. And for those of you keeping track, that's a pretty substantial profit considering she only spent 700 k on the place back in the day. So where did Kristen head next? Well, she really didn't have to go far. That's because a year prior to listing this home, Kristen bought a second mansion in the same neighborhood of Brentwood for the price of $5.3 million. A significant upgrade consists of a 1980s postmodern meets Mediterranean villa hidden away in the mountainous area of Los Angeles located near the Getty Center. Situated behind 
a very secure and very tall wall, not to mention an imposing wrought iron gate that swings open to an extended driveway. This two-story residence contains four bedrooms as well as six and a half bathrooms in more than 6,500 square feet of space. Out front, a lush yet slender strip of lawn shaded by the overgrowth of pine trees leads up to the home's primary entrance. Once inside, you'll discover a grand double height foyer that steps down into a ballroom sized living room that boasts saltillo tile flooring and is wrapped on three sides with floor to ceiling glass doors. Elsewhere in that same room is a wet bar set beside an absolutely gorgeous stone carved fireplace. And when Kristen's done in there, she can head over to her nearby den slash library that comes with a cozy and comfy fireplace of its very own. Now, in terms of Kristen's new dining room experience, she'll find herself in the epitome of comfort when she takes a seat at a classic long form table. Then there's her new kitchen. It sits under a high barrel vaulted ceiling and boasts a double wide center island with glossy black counters over top of a honey toned cabinetry set against some premium in grade stainless steel appliances. Upstairs are the bedrooms, many of which come with their own ensuite bathrooms too. Then of course there's her master retreat, which comes with not one but two bathrooms, including a sitting area and a private balcony that overlooks the back. Backyard. Speaking of the exterior, out in the rear is a breathtaking covered terrace that overlooks a swimming pool and spa combo set into a sun soaked patio with some panoramic views of the canyon. So, what do you guys think? Does Kristen Davis's real life homes compare favorably to Charlotte's apartment in Sex and the City? I guess to really decide that one way or another, we'll have to take a quick look at Charlotte's place. The first thing you'll notice about Charlotte's apartment is that the decor is nothing like Kristen uses in her real home. In in fact, I'd say that Kristen has a much more modern vibe in real life, while Charlotte is definitely in keeping with a more classic and timeless approach. When it came to creating the sets for And Just Like That, HBO didn't bother to switch up what was already working. Rather than move Charlotte into a new home, they kept her in the same apartment from the original series, with a few notable differences like a larger table in the front foyer. In terms of Charlotte's family room, well, you can tell by Kristen's reaction that she's not exactly a fan of the design or its overall aesthetic. Then there's the kitchen, which Kristen is much happier with in general and considers to be the most important room in Charlotte's home. Finally, there's the bedroom, which is far more sedate than Kristen's actual master suites. For those of us with fond memories of the original series, it's certainly fun to take a walk down memory lane. But let's be honest, as nice as that apartment is, I don't think it holds a candle to either of Kristen's actual homes in LA. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with her LA homes being nicer, or would you rather be living in Charlotte's apartment in New York? You know, if it were actually a real place. <laughs> Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching, follow me over on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!